Hi, I'm Vicky Flipflop and I have just walked 12 miles all the way around Hailing Island in Hampshire. So let me show you how it's done. So today I'm going to see if I can walk around Hailing Island. I came here the other day and it's so beautiful here, but I couldn't actually find any advice online to see whether you can walk around Hailing Island. So I'm going to give it a go. Hailing Island is on the south coast between Chichester and Portsmouth. And seeing as I live in Portsmouth, it's not too far away. And I think it's going to be a good 15 mile-ish walk. There's the popular Hailing Island Billy Trail, which is five miles of it, which is really easy on the other side. But I want to see if I can walk around the coast on this side so i have parked up at the salt cafe um i had a coffee here the other day it was really nice breakfast looked really good as well if you want a good feed before you go um but i'm gonna go and get a coffee and get started just picked up a coffee from Northland Farm tea room to get me on my way. It's only actually 15 minutes from um, where I parked the car, 15 minute walk, but it's a nice little stop off and the salt shack wasn't actually open on a Monday morning. Now I'm gonna get some serious steps in. If you're walking around Hailing Island, it's only a little detour to come to the Stoke Fruit Farm shop and there's so many nice things in there. Walk along the east side of the island, there's actually quite a lot of traffic and I've only just got a footpath again, I've had to walk in the road. I've been trying to go down the little roads that lead to the coast, but um, the public footpaths, but you can only sort of go down them, have a little look around and then come back again. I'm not sure it's really a very good idea to walk down the east side of the island, to be honest. There's a lot of traffic! I've made it down to the south of the island at Sandy Point Nature Reserve, which is only home to the reserve and the Hailing Island Sailing Club. And you can get a good look at some of these amazing houses over there. I'm just having a little nose. Of what I imagined when I started walking around Hailing Island. I thought I'd, I thought I'd come out to a place like this and then be able to walk down the east coast, but no such luck. And I've made it down to the seafront. Um, it's a shingle beach here, so there's a little bit of sand, but it's mostly stones. Nice, eh? Worth the walk. I am here, I'm going to walk up the Billy Trail here, there's some oyster beds somewhere. But yeah, this is Hailing Island. I am on the Hailing Island Billy Trail and this used to be a railway a long time ago but now it's all been flattened and it's a very safe part of Hailing Island to walk up and down, it's very popular with dog walkers, uh, mums and dads, kids, cyclists because it's very safe. is it I've come to the end of the Billy Line Trail which means I've walked all the way around Hailing Island I can see my car over there where I've left it and I did it my top tips for walking around Hailing Island would be pack for all weathers go to Stokes Farm food shop and think twice about walking around the east side of it I hope you've enjoyed my video of walking around Hailing Island and if you check out my YouTube channel at Day Out in England there's another one on walking around Thorny Island which is very near to here so thanks for watching.